we also have various load cells. Now load cells are sensors that actually measure load. So they're gonna measure how much load is on a particular component. A very common load cell that we would use is a bump stop load cell. And that's, that's this little load cell here. It's gonna go right on the shock shaft and it will actually measure just the bump stop load itself. Uh, we have spring load cells that'll measure just the spring rate. We have suspension link load cells, like this here is a load cell that is going in a, in a trailing arm, or we have them for the tie rod right sleeves, uh, top links, etc. All load cells use what's called a, a load cell amplifier, and for the data acquisition to actually read this load cell signal, it has to be an amplified signal. So all of our load cells will come with a load cell amplifier. Sway bar load cells is another popular load cell that we have. We have some individual uh, sway bar load cells, like this particular one will actually accept rod in, so it'll just give you, a, uh, it'll go as a solid rod in link. We even have load cells that go right on the bottom of the sway bar pad. So this particular mount right here allows us to use a bump stop load cell right on the sway bar arm. Uh, which works really neat. That allows you to use the same load cell for multiple applications and, and obtain that sway bar load. So you can actually see when the sway bar is loading and unloading all the way around the track. 